Hey everybody, it's Jake, Abe, and Richie with Sonic Dad. Hi. Before we get started on this episode, we wanted to show you a few pictures that Kevin King has sent in about some projects that he's built. The uh, stainless and steel version of the solar nightlight's really cool. I like it. Yeah, it's awesome. awesome. A couple versions of the crossbow. It's really cool to see the personal touch and the twists and, and all the interpretations that you guys will put on yeah. our project. So you know, send us pictures, send us videos, keep them coming. We love seeing what you're building. Yep, cool. Now on to the next episode. Hi, it's Richie and Abe in the Sonic Dad Studios to bring you another preview of our next project. Hey, folks. So last project was number 70, and mm -hmm. that was the Randomizer Rocket, the cool collaboration we did with Grant Thompson. And it's awesome. Yes. Dang awesome. Not only that, it's really awesome. Mm -hmm. So I thought it'd be really cool to do a launch pad for that rocket. It's kind of big, so... Because without the launch pad, you may try and shoot it off your hand or something like that, which we hopefully, do not advocate. Hopefully not. No, that would be a very bad idea. Especially if you're using Grant's motor. Yeah. Don't blow your hand off. <laughs> you don't want that. So it's kind of big. It's offset. I will mm -hmm. go grab it. Well, he goes and gets it. Let me just tell you this. Originally, we tried to shoot it out of our hand. And this is actually a prosthetic hand. <laughs> But it's really amazing because nice Richie designed it and built in all of these robotics that actually tie into my brain stem. So you never it know. actually, yeah, it's really, you did a great job here. It's made Thank of you. paper mache and duct tape. And some popsicle sticks in there somewhere. Yeah. So here's the launch pad uh, made out of some PVC pipe and 3 16 diameter guide rod, which is what you need for a rocket this size, 48 inches long. Mm -hmm. So what I really like about this, it's fairly inexpensive to build because it's all PVC. For the blast deflector, I'm using a steel cake pan. And you can buy this guide rod from a hardware store uh, for a few bucks. I think it was under five bucks if I remember right. Mm -hmm. um, initially with my first launch pad that I tested, I used a paint can lid. And in only three launches, the engine burned a hole right through it. So this one has a fender washer right on the top surface. Oh, and nice. so it's pretty thick steel, so it'll take a while to burn through that. And if you did, you could easily replace it. So, so just replace the washer? Yeah. Oh, replace awesome. the fender washer. Very good. Yep. And so the, the guide it's rod... It's easier is, to replace the washer oh, than yeah. a human hand. Well, Would you agree? Yes. Just a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's almost a toss up. Yeah. This is an expert level. <laughs> yeah. So the way this pad is designed, the rod is offset so that the thrust from the motor hits the center of the blast deflector, right on the center of that washer. Right. So the other thing that's really cool about this is it's very easy to adjust the angle. So for the, example, the PVC just flexes. Or there's a neighbor flexes. down the street and he's bugging you. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is to compensate for, for slight wind. breeze. Okay. Yeah. And you normally wouldn't angle it this steep, but just to fit the studio. Yeah, we just don't kind of, yeah. have a headspace here. So you can easily adjust the angle, but you can also rotate it very easily. So I think this is a lot easier to adjust than a commercial launch pad. And you can actually build it for a little less than you can buy one. So there's another feature here I want to demonstrate. This guide rod comes out real easily like this. I'm going to set the randomizer down here for a minute. I also designed it to use a uh, 1 8 diameter guide rod, and this is for a traditional Estes rocket, the smaller rockets. It's got a little bushing on it, so it fits in the same hole. And this bushing is just made out of a piece of the tubing inside of window cleaner, a window cleaner mm -hmm. bottle. So that guide rod fits right down in like that. So you can instantly convert it into a launch pad that'll run a more traditional sized rocket that'll run from A up to C engines. Very nice. And it goes on the guide rod the same way. Just like that. So it's also a good idea when you're um, preparing for the launch to put something, after you load the rocket, put something on the end of the rod or even before you load the rocket because it's kind of a hazard 
for eyeballs if someone were to trip and fall on that. So mm. for that, you can just use a, a foam golf ball and I cut a little hole in it. So that just fits right on the end like that. Because it's not enough for that thing to go off in your face <laughs> or to tear your hand off. Uh, you could fall and impale yourself and lose yeah, an eye. and that would be really good. Cool. <laughs> because we are all about safety first. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to pull this out for a minute. Is there uh, experience behind that, you know? No, no so? it's just part of the rules. Just us. Okay, yeah, cool. I just keep that. So the other thing that's really cool about this launch pad is it tears down really fast so you can store it. So that pops off. There's a couple of pins here, and they're tethered so you don't lose them. And just pull the legs off like that. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole thing, and you can store it. That's it. Very cool. We know you're going to love it. So this is Project 71, the Randomizer Launch Pad. It's going to be a skill level 5, couple hour build with painting, and uh, made out of PVC pipe, a steel pie tin, a flat washer, a couple of fasteners, a couple of cotter pins, and of course the guide rod. So, whole thing. The rocket, the randomizer rocket, and the launch pad, how much is a person spending? Um, depends how much you have. I mean, if you have paint and other things on hand, you could probably do it for 20 bucks, maybe. The whole thing, the launch pad and the rocket. Yeah. yeah what about probably. the C4 that you put in the nose cone? <laughs> we, d we don't do that. No C4 no, in the nose cone? Definitely not. So that's Project 71, the randomizer launch pad. Hope you enjoy building it. It's a lot of fun to develop and put together. So until next time, I'm Richie with Sonic Dad. And I'm Abe. We'll see you next time, folks. Now it's your turn to go make something cool. Boom! Hey, you just cracked the desk. I didn't crack it. Right out. there. It's a hairline fracture. Don't do that. It's the hand you built. I gotta get some desk glue and fix it. Oh blah. <laughs> Project 71, take one. Are you ready? You're over there. Really punching. close. Ready. Hi, it's Richie and Abe in the Sonic Dad Studios to bring you another preview of our next project. Hey, folks. So, the... The... The, the. It's our best one yet. The the actually follows the this time, which we haven't seen done before. No, that's two those in a row. Hey, if you like what we're doing, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or click here to go to our website. Thank you.